you're a kind of a free free agent now, which is very exciting. Uh, what's next for you, and what are you up to? Well, I'm going to continue to do what I was doing, which is shepherd ten startups on whose boards I am. Then I'm on the board of Sunlight Foundation and a couple of nonprofits, and I'm posting photos at Flickr, and I'm blogging for Huffington Post. I'm pretty busy. But I don't do video, I'll leave okay. that to you. How did this uh, kind of come to be with the Huffington Post? Well, I know Ariana, and I thought it would be... I wanted to reach an audience that wasn't just a bunch of geeks, basically. And it seemed like a nice venue. That's great. And what are you going to be writing about? Uh, whatever I please. But, you know, IT policy space, IT and healthcare, uh, travels to Russia sort of the, the intersection of policy and IT in a lot of different areas and then you know, it's, it's, that's the great thing about a blog, it can reflect your interests. Well, Stephen, you've, you've, you started your blog fairly recently, uh, uh, time to the launch of the book. How's that been going and how is blogging different than sort of uh, uh, traditional writing that you've done as a journalist all these years? It's a lot of fun, it's really different. Uh, and the, for the first time in 30 years, the stuff I write is not edited by anyone else. I just put it on myself and just put it up there and, and get to manage the comments myself and do all that stuff. And, and, it's, and it's pretty interesting. You have to see who's linking to your blog. And uh, I haven't been all that active in promoting it, but some nice people have linked to me. And, you know, so then the question is, since it's my blog, you know, well, gee, I, I'm writing about the iPod, but what if I want to write about... Uh, the movie I saw the other night. I guess I could do that. I haven't done that. What a great party you went to. Yeah, but I, but, but I guess really what I'm thinking is maybe I should get it, it to blog about my cat. You know, because that seems to be a very popular thing. I don't have a cat, but I could make one up. Yeah. But Esther, it's, it's, it must be interesting after sort of doing this very sort of high level newsletter to have sort of a much uh, kind of a, an open palette in a sense now. It, you can sort of write about what you want and connect with different audiences. I could always do that in the newsletter. The, the, the real adjustment is the shorter form and I still check my facts. So, you know, blogging should be instant, but I actually will write about somebody and then write it, send it to them and say, did I quote you correctly? Blah blah blah. Pe people because used to have to spend thousands of dollars to read Esther's wisdom, and now yes. they get it for free. I know, and I'm I'm so happy because it means more people can read it. It's it's really painful to write for just a few hundred people.